You know, it's not every night we get to cover an issue that directly affects 400,000 different households and businesses here in Austin. But tonight, no final answers. The Austin City Council voted a short time ago to delay a decision about electricity rate hikes. Tonight, the council listened to public comment about the rate hike Austin Energy wants. They're looking for an extra $127 million in revenue. They say they can only accomplish that by raising rates 12.5% over the next three years. Some city council members proposed a 3.5% hike to start this June. That would provide $35 million in additional revenue. The utility says, though, that's just not enough money. KXA and Shannon Wolfson has more on this debate and how one family is bracing for that energy bill increase. Well, Austin Energy says they are in this financial predicament because there have not been any substantial rate increases in 17 years. Many of their customers are bracing now, as Robert mentioned, for a big increase and trying to figure out how they're going to make up the difference. Five-year-old Jack Scaglione I'm gonna go climb in the tree. Okay. and his nine-year-old sister Emma spend a lot of time playing outside. I find myself walking around the house turning lights off all the time. Inside, Dad Frank is trying to teach them a little about economics. You have to pay an electricity bill and stuff like that for the, the amount of le electricity that you use. Definitely try to get them to turn the lights off and um, they have a hard time with it sometimes. Sometimes we do it, but sometimes not. The Scaglione's recently moved from a 2,400 square foot home in Hyde Park. When we were having to water in the summer, it was approaching $500 a month. Yeah, it hurts. You know, we uh, have to make some changes to be able to make those those. Uh, payments. Their bills the last couple of months in their new 2,700 square foot home have averaged around $300 a month. If Austin Energy gets their way with a minimum 8.7 percent increase this year, this family will pay an average $25 more a month. Some city council members want to cap the increase at three and a half percent. That's not going to kill me, but it's just one step farther. We'd probably just have to conserve more. Frank says his energy bill is a little like his son. It's just going to continue to climb, I guess. He just hopes neither of them gets too high. Well, as we mentioned tonight, the council voted to delay that decision. They'll have more work sessions and more public hearings, and they hope to have a resolution by May. Meanwhile, we've got some more in-depth explanation about this complicated issue with this story. It's on our website right now at KXAN.com. Robert, back to you.